So it's good to be back taking pictures. It's been very cloudy and uh, seeing the blue skies excites me. So we can capture more and more pictures of Comet 3A Atlas. So I was taking a look at the recent Hubble pictures. They were released like a couple of days ago. And what intrigues me was the, pic the way the pictures look. I was looking at close-up of Hubble. I noticed two things. Like one is the Comet 3 Atlas looks like a dot and there is a big blue coma around it. And then, of course, they have those hexagonal kind of things. Internet is going crazy over it, but it could very well be an artifact from the way the lenses on the Hubble are. So that was not the part of the mystery. The mystery was how did you get a point light from the 3A Atlas that I was never able to capture. And even Hubble, when it took the pictures before, that's not how the pictures were. It has a big blob of light and it has a tail that the previous picture, and this one was like a tiny dot of light and the big coma. So that made me curious to go into the Hubble website and download the data the raw pictures that Hubble took, actually. And I spent time to process those pictures. The moment I actually downloaded and I saw the picture, those pictures look very different than the picture that was published. So I kept processing the picture to see if I can get any closer to where the published picture is going to look. I wasn't successful getting to that point. I believe the interpretation of those pictures to me looks like there is a scientific term called PSF. It's called point spread function. So you know where the light is and how it is spread. I believe they must have applied some model to figure out maybe the dot of the light where it is coming from and did not show like this big blob that we are seeing whenever we see the three atlas that's the difference that i saw when i immediately looked at the picture i'm going to share that picture with you and I'll show you the differences between those two pictures. So when I was looking at the pictures that I was taking, I'm getting more and more clear that 3 Atlas is more like a cone shape in the front and it's a, a elongated object in the back and there are these spherical or a tornado kind of jets that are spinning in the back. That's how I'm seeing now 3 Atlas. No matter how many times I take a picture, I think that's the structure it is revealing itself. Uh, but this point light, I did not understand. So I went ahead and started processing those. I'm going to share those pictures with you. So please do subscribe to my channel. I take pictures of comets, asteroids, various astronomy videos. So when I post these new videos, you will get a notification. Uh, let me show you the data that I captured and I processed the Hubble picture. So this is the picture NASA released. They took a picture a couple of days ago on December 4th, and it shows that point of light. So I was intrigued with this point of light and I went ahead and downloaded that image. This is just a JPEG file. And I tried to zoom into this file. This is the file that NASA released. And I zoomed into this file. This is showing that core with a point of light. And also it shows that hexagon kind of look. 
I think that requires a separate video. Internet is going crazy over that particular um, structure. But anyway, coming back to this part. So I'm more interested in this one single point of light. How did NASA got or Hubble got that picture? So I went ahead and into the website from Hubble website, I downloaded the pictures and you are seeing the four pictures that were downloaded, that were taken on the 4, December 4th. And these were actually 270 seconds exposure. I would have preferred if they had taken like 40 seconds or 25 seconds. The image is so bright, we would have seen more structure if they had taken smaller exposure. But anyway, it's almost like four and a half minutes, four minutes and 30 seconds. So these are way too bright pictures. I downloaded them. So these are the ones that I downloaded from the website. So they are pretty much like black and white pictures. The coloring we have to do. And you see that picture, right? It's not a point of light. Whereas the pictures that we are seeing on the released website is like a point of light. I'm just putting that side by side. So Hubble took the pictures that we normally get, which is a little bit bigger uh, cone in the front. Whereas this one, I'll zoom in for you it becomes like slightly smaller, right? It just becomes like a small point of light. It is missing all that stuff in the back and also this point and all these streaks of jets or whatever is coming out from that. It just becomes almost like that point of light and the coma, that's it. So that got me intrigued to process these images further. So I made these images, colorized them, did the same process like what NASA does. And let me show you those ones. There's several steps to do to get to that point. But once I completed all those steps, I got similar images like what NASA got. So I got these four images now. So these four images are the ones that I could compare with the pictures that NASA took. I can't do any time lapse on these because these are way too bright and I can run time lapse for you, but there is nothing much to see. You can't see the spin. And by the way, these white stuff that you are seeing, this is all cosmic rays that are hitting the Hubble sensor. There is a way to remove it. I didn't remove it. And you don't see the coma spinning because the coma is like just one big bright blob. They should have taken smaller exposures. The previous NASA pictures were 40 seconds. We were able to actually get the spin. Now, since they're closer, they should have taken lesser exposures, like small time, and we would have got a fantastic view. But this is what we have to work with. But this picture is nowhere similar to the picture that was released. The picture was released more showing like a point, a small point, and then lesser coma there than the reality that you are looking at. I wanted to compare these pictures with the pictures that I was taking. So I'm showing you the image comparison. So this is the Hubble picture and I processed that. This is the picture that was released. And this is the pictures that we are taking in the back here. Still we are dominating in terms of the coma, the tail, everything. I did not see that stuff here for some reason. If this was too 
40 seconds. This is 60 seconds. And on our time lapses, we are seeing the jet going back in this area, right? I must have shown that in the other videos. I can show you one more time. So if you see our time lapses, you should see the jet going back, like swirling into the wind kind of thing, right? That's the structure that I'm getting more and more familiar now, right? People are asking me to slow down some of these videos, like show it a bit slower. Put in timestamp when you are putting the comment that I know, like if I'm going too fast running these things, I can slow it down. Your feedback is very important. Uh, please click on the subscribe button and the notifications button. So whenever I post a new video, you will get a message. Thank you for watching.